Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of Just, of Just Fed, where I am playing Octopath Traveler 2. Last episode we made our way over to Winterbloom, explored this little area, or like this, sorry, this place. Um, more than that, I can't really honestly remember. <laughs> because this is a new recording session. Um, but I think I still need to explore this town. So well, let's go and get my, my day party. In here, which is Throne, Agnea, and Ikari. Yes. Right. A traveler? Why, you've got a strange taste if you wound up in a place as cold as this. A man on a long term stay at the inn. He used to work in Clockbank, but grew wary of socializing and moved somewhere quieter. Though he remains a bit guarded, he has at least come to make nice with the other villagers. Yoink. Conserve strength. You know what warms you what warms you up quick? A nice stiff drink. A brewer focused on making fine cider. He tirelessly samples his own product. This cider made from the town's famous apples is dry with only a hint of sweetness and is highly rated by all the drinkers in town. Sweetheart cider. There's a, scholar, a scholar's guild just west of town, where all the greatest minds gather. Scholars have a penchant for the unusual, so I imagine I'll hear some fascinating things over there. A young man who lives in Winterbloom and has struggled for many years to find some use for the vast amounts of snow that fall each year. He eventually gave up and went to, uh, to the scholar's guild to request a solution, but was unceremoniously turned away. Dang it. What are you doing? <laughs> Hunted myself a rabbit and a deer yesterday. Sold them to the tavern for some good eating. Capable hunter who can be found uh, fishing at the nearby lakes in the supper. The fresh meat and fish he provides fill the bellies and nourish the souls of the townsfolk. That's great bow, jerky, inspiring plum. And snaring shots. Huh. I'm gonna set out for Cape Cold, selling my wares as I go. A hunter, farmer, manufacturer, and merchant. He packages the meat he hunts and the vegetables he grows into preserved meals he then sells wholesale to the town and surrounding villages. He abhors wa wasting food, preferring to use, uh, to use even the stalks and roots uh, of his vegetables in his meals. This town hasn't changed in forever, for better and worse. Soldier born and raised in Winterbloom, who now stands guard at the Montwise Library. Though the Winterbloom armorer's wares are simple, he appreciates their durability enough to return whenever he needs to replenish his supply. Wait, wait. I'll take uh, your skills. And your strength. Fireball. Hmm. And twofold thrust. Okay. You don't sell any other... Things that I care about. I hate this stupid sword. What business is that being stuck in this rock anyway? I tried pulling it out, but it won't budge. Maybe I'm just not strong enough. I wonder if I can break the rock with one of those pointy things that miners have. Or maybe I just need more hands to rip this thing right out. Daughter of a local shopkeeper, energetic, cheerful, and prone to saying exactly what she thinks. She has lately taken an interest in, in gardening and begun collecting trees and flowering plants that can thrive in the local climate. She has a skill called Stab. Today I'm gonna find a rock I hit myself from yesterday. A young boy whose boundless energy carries him uh, out of the doors at all times. Has absolutely zero interest in books or toys, preferring instead to play his favorite game. Inventing new ways to play. He may never run out of ideas. Alt. He did, however, run out of items, since I stole them. I mean, what? Stoon Was not believing soon to pursue his dreams of being a scholar I want to give him a parting gift before he goes But I just don't have the money Is there anything I can give my boy To wish him well on his journey I have a silver quill You said this is the beloved quill Of, the, of a former scholar I can't believe you went through all that trouble for me and my boy 
Thank you so much. I'm going to give it to him right away. You want to speak to me, father? This is for you, my boy. I hope it helps you on your journey. Wait, I know what this is. It's a many a scholar is fond of silver quills like these. And when a scholar retires, they usually pass their quill on to another to encourage their studies. I may not be a scholar, but the intention is the same. The path ahead of you won't be easy. There might even be times where you want to give up. But I believe in you, boy. You're going to be great someday. I just know it. Father, thank you. I swear on this quill that I'll study hard and make you proud. You already do, son. And I can't wait to see you walk through that door as a full-fledged scholar. Magic nut. Study even-tempered man who runs a farm. Through sheer perseverance and careful cross-pollination, he has managed to create strains of wheat and fruit trees that grow in the cult. Unforgiving soil of the st in the cult, unforgiving soil of his town. His son aims to become a scholar. Um, I'm gonna if I knock you out for a moment. On your guard. Prepare yourself. <laughs> My turn. Prepare yourself. I've got My turn. There's no need for flattery. It'll rust my soul. You still have much to learn. Uh, race, physical defense, and mental defense. Yeah. I just wanted to get inside, honestly. 50 leaf and some old armor. Just about time, uh, time uh, just about time to start making charcoal. About time I got ready to shove myself out of it, up in a hut. A taciturn charcoal maker. A charcoal maker. Come winter, he holds up in a small shack and turns the trees he felled in summer, uh, in summer into charcoal over the course of several days. His efforts are rewarded with a high quality product that sustains the lives of everyone in town. He has chop wood. Why is mom always going on and on about the most boring things? Young girl who loves cooking and eating. She especially loves working with limited or leftover ingredients. Though her flavors are absolutely divine, her presentation could use some work. <laughs> Gathering firewood in the summer is no small task, but you can't afford to cut corners if you want to survive the winter. Whoopsie. An exceptionally frugal woman who was born and raised in this town. Her mother and grandmother taught her all she kn uh, all they knew about surviving the winter, and she learned well from it. Now she continues to audition herself, passing that information on to her daughter. Come on. Are you kidding me? Boy, if you don't... There we go. Beast lover. We're hoping to go past this point. Here's some friendly advice. Don't. Man who carefully watches everyone's coming and goings. He is actually a soldier hired by the local lord to fend off bandits. They've proven more powerful than he expected, and so he finds his watch to be a full-time job. That's a 15%. Twin servant, wow. Everyone in town pitches in when firewood or food gets scarce. A sheltered woman from the idyllic Calling Creek who moved uh, to this town when she married her husband. Life in a deep snowy country has taught her that happiness comes not from opulence, but from gratitude. Nice. This seems like an important thing for the future. The thieves' quarter. Okay. I'm not in the habit of talking business during daylight hours. Lone bandit whose face betrays not even a hint of emotion. He'll do literally anything if the price is right. He uses nearly all the money he earns to look after stray dogs and cats is taken in. <laughs> Promise. 
comes as a promise, am I right? Bandit waiting for someone. Exactly one year ago, he invested a pile of leaves into a fellow bandit's team. That was guaranteed to produce untold riches. Now he's left waiting for someone who seems increasingly unlikely to appear. And wonders, is it worse to deceive or be deceived? Like a better deal, uh, a better deal buying from me than the armor in town. A bandit encamped uh, beside the armorer. He sells stolen goods and claims to be a connoisseur, but his suspicious pricings give him away as a completely self-taught businessman. The arms merchant next door is actually his half brother. And then yeah, there's this. But I'm not buying weapons, <laughs> at least not yet. Or gear in general. Easy there, watch where you're going. Thief warns his living entirely from pickpocketing, which has earned no small amount of scorn from his fellow bandits. Though his name once struck fear into the hearts of many, he stopped taking dangerous jobs after a particularly fraught heist. I'll take Yoink. Right. An empowering light cheap. And a place that I can't go to. Right. Now I'm wondering though. Um I cannot knock you out, okay. Uh this one. Let's get the night crew in here. Should be Oswald, Agnia. And also Hikari. I guess Temino's technically, but... As long as it's not too expensive, I can do it. Oh, are you a traveler? Oh, I'm not asking for any particular reason, mind. Just curious. Um, give me your stuff. And I'll just buy you. Right. Woman prepared to leave the hometown. She has come to abhor for the city. She has no contacts in the city and even less travel experience. And plans to follow any traveler she can uh, she can find along the way. Alas, she's quite shy and has yet to approach anyone. Um, um. Still really nice, I think. The music is still really nice in this. Going back here and seeing the hum humidity of my uh, humanity of my hometown wards me right up, body and soul. Right, give me all of your stuff, and I will bribe you. I have. Man was returned to his hometown on holiday from his job as a guard on Frigid Isle. Having had his fill of the harsh working conditions and climate on Frigid, he now hopes to move to culture-rich Stormhale and serve Clan May. I caught up with some dear uh, with some dear old friends. Felt like going back in time. Hmm. Okay, you're also quite difficult to bribe. Well, like, not difficult, but quite expensive to bribe. Let's go and get um, your boy in here. Um, Terminus. And let's just see what happens. See how difficult this guy is. I... <laughs> Very well. Take that. That all. That all. Where was I? I won't. Now try. Khan was returned to his hometown on holiday from. Uh, his soldiering duties with Clan May. He sensed the clan may not have uh, may not have the brightest future, however, and hopes to move to a steadier job out on Frigid Isle. Hand it over. Such crime shall not go unpunished. Thinking time. Hmm. Yeesh. <laughs> He'd be doing a lot of damage. 
No. Thinking time. I should be able to take like another hit. In theory, I have a, I have an idea. Calculations complete. Let's go into this. This I'm gonna heal in the next turn. Owie. That's a lot of damage. This one's for me. I did not expect that to happen. Try again. I do have some merchant skills, but nothing too amazing. Alright, there we go. In pursuit of knowledge. Rise, fierce music. Okay, so it doubles the, the cast, basically. That is intriguing. I guess I can do another one of these, then. In theory. Since it will hit him twice. Thinking time. Okay. Um, how much does rest, rest actually heal me for? Let's see. Just a moment. 500 HP, that's pretty good. <laughs> All things considered. <laughs> no. All according to plan. <laughs> now I am wondering. Does it also increase like change this just yeah I didn't use it but he still died <laughs> I've seen worse methods. okay I see as I got the spear and some minute information right, let's go and rest up because actually it's not even necessary really let's go and heal up and continue <laughs> Right, cool. A herb of healing. So I just noticed something. Which I didn't check out in the day. There's this place. But there's nothing in there. This definitely is a story uh, related place. I'm quite sure about that one. You're really strong. Um, so you and you won't give me that spear. That is quite obvious. A silver sword. I am not complaining about that. Okay, for now, it's no place for common folk like yourself. Half of a pair of somewhat known bandits who claim to know everything about his partner. He believes with every fiber uh, of his being that they are of one mind and nothing can stop them as they take on increasingly larger jobs. You certainly know how to take care of yourself. Time. <laughs> oh dear. Sorry. 
Half a pair of some unknown bandits, he finds himself exhausted by his partner who barely knows him, and is currently thinking about leaving. He has a wife and child, but hasn't found the words to tell his partner. In crime. Oh, I want that coin purse of yours. Fight me. Hmm. Time. <laughs> Twin Serpents, yeah. That's a powerful move. Bandit who drifted here from Hanuma. He was a once uh, he was once a warrior under the king's command and abhors cowardice. When robbing his chosen target, he will first announce his intentions, then kill them and take their positions. Hmm. This dude uses twin snakes. Which I don't like. It almost killed Temenos, so. I'm pretty sure that it would, that it would kill uh, Oswald. Which would not be good. So many people are suddenly. But you, I've already talked to you. We don't get to be choosy with jobs, we just take whatever comes along. Right, um, yeah. <laughs> when you get to be as good a, as good at this thieving business as I am, you start to amass a troublesome fortune. Okay. <laughs> Time. <laughs> Where was huh. that all? <laughs> to work. Yeah. Long-time thief, fond of telling uh, tell, uh, telling tales of his own heroism. In truth, he is an incompetent bandit with a history of blunders behind him. Though curiously, he has never been arrested. Many believe his tall tales, however, leading to his legendary status as a bandit who cannot be captured. Guys like me don't lose to the lobsters like you. No. <laughs> I need a broken. Calculations complete. Indulge me for a moment. Hmm. I've seen worse methods. A worse. Want to play a lovely? Just say the word. Wait. Okay, I'm just not that strong. I... <laughs> Sent this woman to Hornydale. This isn't ideal. Where was I? Take that. Okay. This won't do. Oh. Where was I? Uh. <laughs> I see you can just give up, okay? If you don't have the correct thing. Um. Huh. What am I gonna do then? How rare are these lychees? I think soul stones aren't really that difficult to get, so. Not weak to fire. This isn't ideal. So sorry. Oh dear. Let us try ice then. Oh. 
Mysterious alluring woman, she looks to be in her 30s, but word is she has seen the tavern well before thieves started gathering in the area. Over 30 years ago. Thus, she's earned a reputation more fearsome than any bandit. Him. You're trying to rob me? As a matter of fact, yes. Thinking time. Um, maybe also reach the spears? No. No. Okay, no. This wasn't in my calculations. I need a plan. Okay, so it is only ice. Poor Thinking time. Hmm. Here's the frost. Hmm, Oswald. I need a plan. Pierce the wings of frost. Study harder. My sword's looking cheap, and you better pay in advance. Not available. And there's the sweetest thorn. Okay. Well, I offer forgiveness to the wicked. I. <laughs> And before I don't have the weakness again. Oh Ugh. Now, since they are a cleric, I'm not sure if they're gonna be weak to light. No. Okay. Let's give up. Does this actually do something for me? Like something bad for me? No. It just fails. Um, okay, let's go and give you a different job then. Let me give you... Um, I guess I can give you an inventor for the moment. That way you have like at least two different... Um, Time for some weapons. They don't even have to do that much damage. Because <laughs> he's now using just makeshift weaponry, but that's fine. Very well. I just need to be able to break him. A cleric who has come to implore bandits to confess their sins. In actuality, he uses the confessions to pass them money and disclose the names of those who pose a threat to the church. This will undoubtedly result in new sins for those bandits to confess, but he will likely forgive them when the time comes. Right. Um, let me go and swap you back over to Dancer. Actually, nah, just continue being an inventor for now. Right. <laughs> How about a dose of the good stuff? We've got stock that'll melt your little heart. And this guy is too strong. Spike shields. Got plenty of blood on my hands. Come near me and I'll get it on you too. Yoink. Time. <laughs> Boy, if you don't. Really? So, I have not tested out spears or daggers. Take this. Is that the spot? Well. 
kind of wondering, if I use this, I'll hit you where it, hurts. it should hit him in an elemental weakness, yeah? No. It only hits the elemental weakness when it's actually available. Can I? No, I can't, sorry. Lend me your strength. Oh dear. Take this. There we go. Once a knight for an aristocratic family until his lord betrayed him. He started every last person in the manse and fled. Or so he would have you believe. In actuality, he's an ordinary bodyguard whose way with words is his greatest weapon. Right. Now let's go and grab Picari for a moment and see if I can bribe some of these people without losing too much money. That would be the optimal outcome. Right. Yee, Kari. Kind of running though, because I, <laughs> I kind of forgot. Forgot who I still need to bribe. Get one of them. 300, that's fine. I have a thief dealing in illegal concoctions and best known for making poisonous ones. He comes from a family of assassins and his half-sister is in the same like line of work. But, and then it was you also needed to be bribed. A thousand I can do that. Bannett known for taking any job. Most recently he stole the snow off of an old man's roof and a small box in which a child had saved some leaves. His rewards were fruit and assorted snacks. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's not available. I was about to say, like, wait, that doesn't make sense. See, because I, I got your information, yeah. You were a pain in the butt, so. Alright, let's go and get the lowest level people from my little adventure band. And we are going to go and make our way to the next place. Um, I guess I can also go and rest up. Maybe I'll rest up with the people that I'm actually going to go outside with. Let's see, lowest level people, which would be most of them. Um, Oswald, you're not lowest level anymore, so goodbye. Let me go and give you the inventor job. Instead of Timonos. Uh, Magnia, you can be... You can be a scholar, I guess. Right. Let me go and give you... A weapon and give you another weapon. Let us go in general check uh, check stuff. Stone spitter. Um, this thing is better. This thing is better. Right. Stealthy knife. I'll take it. Uh, you can get a Magus or Magus knife. I suppose. A fine sword. And I guess you can get the Frost Axe. <laughs> For whatever it may be worth. I've just been getting a lot of stuff, huh? Tattered Sacred Shield. Sure. Dark gloves. Shield, Lord Helm, this. Black Shield, Nice Helm, and Bone Mail. Gucci. Right, let's go and heal up. And go out into the world. Let's see. I suppose it might be a better idea for me to go to Flame Church and then just go uh, east. <sighs> Probably should have saved my game too. Oh well. <laughs> I'll be fine. Um. 
I'm gonna save my game now, just in case. Ready? Well now. Body bash. Prepare yourself. Now it's over. There's no need for flattery. It'll rust my sword. There we go. Now, let us go this way. Group of monkey. Cleaning time. That's um I guess you're all way to source well, probably. Well. Yes. Rip. And so it goes. Run da 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 dum. I can get another skill with throw day. And not just any skill, Aver's Reckoning. Which is... Pretty freaking good. The bigger your speed, the bigger the damage. Like the higher your speed, the more damage, whatever. <laughs> yep! Yeah. Into Boulder Fall. Border, border Fall, sorry, not Boulder Fall. But I'm thinking of as an area from the first game. I shall be your opponent. Hello. Whoa, you look very extravagant. Um, I can't really do much against you though. I can try to hit you with a ruinous kick, but it's just gonna fail anyway. Most likely. I'm gonna do this. Please don't run away. No! My turn. Mm. Well, well. Prepare yourself. What to do? Didn't even get the chance. I know no cure for you. There was a queen too, so that seems pretty rare. I don't know. It seemed very flashy, so. Oh well. Also, I think I know where uh, which shrine this is gonna be. This is gonna be the cleric shrine, isn't it? Which means that I'm gonna need somebody else. Oh well. Hmm. Pick your deck. Let's try swords, I think. Dang it. Here I come. Um, let's go and use this one. My blade sings. My turn. My journey will not end here. I keep forgetting that these shrines are here. <laughs> that I should probably pay attention to them. What to do? Well, well. I think those monkeys are probably weak to um, spears too. Yeah. Here I go. Did well for the pride of Ku. Agnia has 5,000 Japanese points. She can get still teach seduction. Which extends the reach of a single ally skills to all for three turns. This does not affect divine skills or skills that only affect the user. I see. A shadow bow. Do I have anybody with a bow? No. Okay. Let's go to the left and I guess I can go and see which shrine this is. But I'm pretty sure that this is the the cleric's shrine. So yeah. 
And then this monkey isn't weak to spears. It doesn't make any sense. Oh, let's go and use this. May as well just go and burn him. And I can also go and learn... Um, another one of these, which I think is just going to be a lightning bolt. Right. That looks like a church. <laughs> Are you my next patient? It's my turn now. Ice wind blow. Ready? <laughs> Prepare yourself. There's no need for flattery. It'll rust my soul. Oh. Clerics and Sanctum Knights are people too. We're just doing our jobs to get by. Um. A man who became a Sanctum Knight, so as to live by the sword. He is utterly indifferent to the Order's teachings. His younger colleague brought him here to brush up his knowledge on the scriptures. Or scripture. But he would much rather be practicing his swordplay. Interesting. It's the duty of us Sanctum Knights to lead the world along the path illuminated by the Sacred Flame. I have... Sergei is a studious Sanctum Knight. She admires and desires the sword skills of a superior. She studies scripture and swordplay in hopes of perfecting both her mind and body, but has yet to realize the gap between her expectations and reality. Interesting. Of course, they're two different people. Of course, they're different people during the day and the night. Oh no, the Altar of the Flamebringer is here. <laughs> Balls. Okay. So that's interesting. Um. Writers cannot make compromises. It is our duty to challenge our readers. The cleric tasks, uh, tasked with managing the church's image amongst the broader pu public. She is also the author of the famous children's book Adventures of an Apprentic Apprentice Cleric. Her perfectionism is all that stands between her and the completion of the much-awaited sequel, which she hopes to release in the near future. But your wounds and flesh. People close with their hearts if the teachings are too strict. One must be tolerant and forgiving. An older but unreliable cleric, his young subordinate often chastises him for his seemingly listless attitude. He is very faithful to the scripture, however, and shows no mercy to those who do not follow. The curses and morals just aren't what they used to be, which is why we clerics must set an example for the people. Young cleric, full of energy and ambition. Her superior's listless attitude bothers her, and she tells him as much. She, dis she does this uh, because she knows how competent he truly is, and wishes others would afford him the respect he deserves. Right. Hello. You've come a long way to visit this remote church. I'm touched by your faith. It feels as if the sacred blame... The sacred blame? <laughs> sacred flame burns brighter, uh, brighter in my chest. I feel one so divided as yourself is more than qualified to join us in the cleric's guild. Let us raise our prayers to the heavens together. Well, hey. Um, I have this so I can get another license. I do not have the other thing, but that is fine. Right, so we now have cleric unlocked times two. Since I was lucky and had the the stuff. Birds. Okay, but I will I will have to come back here with stamina stuff. Which is more than a little frustrating. Um, but at the same time, I should have seen this coming. Now 
with pizza. Masticate? That's a name. Um, let's just go and do well, this. Which is the wrong attack. I wanted to do the aggressive slash. Excellent work, Hikari. This one. My <laughs> Don't cut. Um, can we wait to access? Yes, we're All tidied up. My turn. Um, you'll most likely all be weak to well, spears. Well. No, <laughs> wrong. Okay, so that one is weak to sword. WTF. My journey will not Let's go and teach you another skill. Um, elemental barrage is always nice. Okay. And then, yeah. The rest I'm gonna have to think of something. Um... There's a cave down there. Let the show begin. Ready? Okay. So arrows then? Well, well. No need for flattering. It'll rust my sword. Right. Um, I guess I can go and check it out. Also, I got another beautiful little tip, where apparently, which is kind of interesting. But let me so let me go and check. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's correct. <laughs> so you can actually see the danger level of the dungeons uh, on the map. So. I should go and enter the dungeons to have their danger level on my map. Although, there's still a part of me that kind of doesn't want to do it. Because I'm so used to, like, this this way that I structured in my head where... Um, if I don't enter a dungeon, then I haven't finished it. That's the entire idea. Of course, that way I can't really know, like, when I can enter the dungeon, I suppose, so. We are on the verge of a decision, my friends. <laughs> With this specific dungeon. Which will probably be way too high level. Actually, no. It's level 26. I can deal with that with relative ease. Um, the question is, will I deal with it, though? That is a true question. I guess I could. There's nothing stopping me from doing it. No, sure. Why not? Let's see. You are a poison that must be purged. You know, I also noticed how long Gepsir is. So after this battle, we're gonna go and just stop it. <laughs> Fireball, burn! My turn. Well, well. Open book. Prepare. Uh. Allow me. I tried, what to do? but it did not work. My turn. There's no need for flattery. All right, my friends, that's sword. gonna be it. Hope you enjoyed this episode of just us playing Octopath Traveler 2. And next episode, we're gonna go and continue exploring this seat of the water sprout. 
area, place, ruins, thing. Do I? 